as Nigeria inches closer to the deadline for the use of the old design Naira. Stakeholders are asking the Central Bank of Nigeria to consider the peculiarities of financially underserved locations in the country. Today on Breakfast, we'll look at the impact of the new Naira notes on the marginalized communities and individuals in the country. Also on the breakfast, as presidential candidate participate in the 25th February election recently uh, signed Peace Pact Accord, the second of such signing necessitated by bridges to the first peace accord signed in September 2022. Are the candidates ready to keep to their agreement and ensure issue-based and violence-free campaigns? We'll look at this in our second conversation. And enough of the press, we bring you in-depth analysis of some of today's major newspaper headlines. All this ahead on The Breakfast. And we're back uh, with The Breakfast. Uh, major conversation on your screens right here on Plus TV Africa. It's a brand new uh, week. Your first time I'm laying eyes on Mercy <laughs> this it's year. Good to see you. It's, it's amazing. Happy New Year, and Mercy. And you look great. Yeah, we've been we've been here doing the work <laughs> while you've been away. Oh no. Um, but anyway, <laughs> well, like... I've been back for a very long time now. <laughs> I've been mean, very old here. Oh, Anyways, yes, it's good to have you back on yes, the show. Yes, indeed, it's great to be back. Um, we will start our, our program this morning, of course. Um, we'll look at what's been trending. Um, some stories trending on social space, like we always say, we bring that on television. Once again, my name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Bopo. It's good to have you join us. Good All right. morning. All right. Mercy, uh, this is quite interesting. Um, do you remember where you were uh, <laughs> when we had the last <laughs> national population census? 2006. Yeah, 2006. Yeah. Where was I? <laughs> I do, I'll tell you where I was. No, I, I think I was in Abuja. I'm not sure. Mm. Maybe I was in Abuja or Calabar, <laughs> so I'm yet to find. A, I mean, I'm yet to be I sure think, where I, I was. Think, I think. I uh, think. Well, I think you were in Calabar at that time. <laughs> you can't be sure I was in Calabar. But um, in 2006, um, the National Population Census held. I happened to be a part of uh, of it in a way as an ad hoc staff. Oh really? Yes, that indeed. That means you were part of those who were I was taking no. Akbabuyu. No, I, I probably would mean that you were part of those in class who were always taking down the names of noise makers. <laughs> Well, we, we, we had some sort of training, okay. you know, we had some sort of training before the enumeration. You know, before the census starts, you go around and do some, you know, enumeration. There's just some training, you know. So I was, I was posted to post it to Akba with you. I was hustling, <laughs> <laughs> hustling for money, you know. How much um, are you paid? And, and that was when I, you know, for those who know Calabar very well, <laughs> that's when I discovered that Akba with you is, is a local government area in Cross River State, by the way, mm -hmm. that you have two roads to get to Akba with you. Mm -hmm. You can go through... There's a place in Calabar called the MCC Road. Mm -hmm. You guys, sorry, let's have this conversation. <laughs> you know, to get to to the, so you don't need to go through the other uh, an Antigua or whatever they call it, the other side. You know, mm -hmm. so it was quite interesting. It opened my eyes to mm -hmm. see different parts of uh, of, of Nigeria. Um, that was the first time I sat on a motorcycle. You know, no, really? what we call Okada in Lagos, mm -hmm. um, in 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 Crossover State, where we're growing up, they used to call it the uh, Kaoket. <laughs> oh, That's not it. Oh, they used to call it Allah Alok. Allah Alok is more like an Andan conversation. Yeah, Allah Alok. Ala Alok. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, so, so, but in Okada is now what we call it. So that was the first time, because I mean, I was growing up in, in Nigeria, I mean, I had the, the opportunity, let me call it that, to be on a motorcycle as a kid. So that you was know. your first time? No, but the first time I sat on a bike with five people. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy, believe me, you, me. If you've never mm. seen five people fit on a motorcycle in Calabar, it happened to me. Mm. It was when I had to go to the interior part of Akba Abuyo mm. to count people. Mm. And, but that 2006 publishing census, it gave me an eye opener as to the, the difficulties that even government faces. Because um, at the end of the day, those of us who had, you know, able to be were lucky to be chosen for that uh, side hustle, call it these days of you know, being ad hoc staff to help go around and count. Um, the locals insisted that they must be the one to count. Mm. So they came and then before we said Jack, we were, um, what do you call it, uh, swept aside. And, you know, they told us we should go home, don't worry, we'll get paid. And locals are the ones who, we didn't hear from the MPC again, locals are the ones who did the counting. 
you know, they were agitating seriously that they wanted to end there. They sent some of their counselors and stuff to come and you know lobby. They wanted to be the ones to count. So you realize that um, the reasons why locals around Nigeria will want to be the ones to count themselves. It's like you're writing the exam and scoring yourself. It's because maybe they want to inflate the figures. Maybe they're afraid that they may not be counted well. You know, so this is all the issues. But um, the trending one right now is that uh, the National Population and Housing Census for Nigeria in 2023, which is the first since 2006, has been too long, uh, will hold from March 29 to April 1, 2023. And people have been talking about this. You know, <coughs> excuse me, some people, you know, Nigerians, naturally, human beings, let me say generally, all over the world are pessimistic, you know, of government. Um, so some of the reactions coming up, you know, I've seen on Twitter, uh, some are saying that they want to eat money, you know, blah, 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 blah. And all that, some are saying it's ridiculous and all those kind of things. But uh, it's a very important thing um, that Nigerians have to back up. So that is what's trending. Uh, one of the stories that the 2023 National Population and Housing Census will hold from March 29 uh, to April 1, 2023. The chairman of the National Population Census these days is uh, Nasser Issa Kwara. Um, he spoke to State House correspondents uh, after meeting with President Muhammad Kuhari at uh, Asurog Villa in Abuja. Um, so that, that, that's that. Mercy. Yes, and, and just like you have uh, you know, rightly stated, it's uh, commendable, that's what I would say, that we're having uh, the census, I mean, we're going to have a census six, 17 years after because it was done, you know, the last time we had it was in 2006 and 180 million was where, you know, the population was pegged at. And we know prior to this time that uh, a lot of concerns have been raised, just like uh, Kofi had mentioned right there. But, you know, th the truth is, I, I think that it's important that we pay attention to, you know, the importance of census in our country because that cannot be overemphasized. But the only challenge we probably might have is if you have census that's conducted and we're very honest and sincere in the entire process where uh, some of the things that you mentioned, I mean, just imagine what happened in 2006 and here we are, 17, almost, almost two decades. You can imagine what's going to happen. I'm not the prophet of doom, but I'm just saying that. So you're, you're, uh, you're, you're pessimistic? You feel that uh, maybe all these, uh, you know, uh, regional sentiments may, may creep yes. into into the, act, the exercise. You, you, you know, you know, <coughs> you know that um, you know we're still evolving, and that's how we describe our democracy. It's almost the same thing with our elections. Oh. We're developing. We're, we're trying to get there. We're not there yet. And um, you know, Nigerians have expressed concern about the uh, census. I'd like to see the census here, yeah? of course. That's what we're talking about. Uh, from the fact that even from independence and what have you. Uh, before independence and after independence. I feel like the figure has, there's been a lot of manipulation and miscalculation, political interference. But you can't take out, uh, you know, the fact that it's important to have a census. But several questions have been raised as to this particular census. Why are we having this census at this point? It feels like it's a hush-hush, we're, uh, you know, rushing it, like we're, you know, we're just trying to meet mm. up with time. Mm. And for a country as us, uh, we have overly depend, uh, been dependent on statistics from the United Nations, you know, to say, okay, estimate, it. we're looking at a population of 211 million, well, almost 300 million persons in Nigeria. Mm. Uh, but how far have we been planning because you know so you know we rely on estimates yes we don't, we don't really know how much we yeah are. We, we don't know how we are and that's why i'm mm. saying that it's important but i we only wish and uh, understand the plea of the people and the consent because it's important to know the number of persons that you have in a certain geographical location and that's very important for every country because yeah. it helps you also determine <coughs> excuse me you know, um, the kind of policies, you know, the number of people that you have, children, the unemployed. So you begin to make your policies. That's how you, you know, you formulate policies Absolutely. to cater for the needs of the people. Absolutely. But over time, that hasn't been the case. I think once, once upon a time, Tafa Balewa, uh, you know, in the 60s, there was, was once some census that was cancelled, you know, because of the manipulation. So Nigerians have not, you know, expressed different feelings from what so, we have. So, so would you put this... this um uh, I don't know, like you said, manipulation, um, uh, <laughs> lack of um, uh, truthfulness in counting ourselves, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, just to count. Mm. And we can't agree on it. Would you, would you put it down to government's insincerity? Would you put it down to the people like we, you and I, not you and I, but 
the people outside government as being part of the problem. No, so it's a combination. So it, it's a combination <coughs> of uh, the people and the government. That's what I always say. I mean, the disaster that we're faced with right now is not dependent on, you know, one strata. Like I always say, a corrupt society would produce a corrupt, you know, uh, we would always have a corrupt leaders. So what we are, the kind of leaders that we have today is a reflection of who we are. And so if we have, you know, a system influencing the system, that's who we are. It's just the combination of efforts that's putting us where we are. So, I mean, we need to get to a point where we say we can do better. Just, well, just so a, a very, very quick one on that before. We move on. I, I think that um, uh, we also, we can't, we can't divorce, you know, talking about how bad government is really um, from talking about our values as society. Mm -hmm. That's um, all. That's what I'm saying. Because at the end of the day, society will accept what it it accepts us and it it uh, permits, and will not accept what it doesn't permit. And um, you know, the people who will go and say, "Oh no, no, you must count goods, you must count sheep, who we'll count cows, who we'll count uh, the chickens," okay? Because that's what my dad used to say to me. You know, um, are from society, are from society. Um, are we going to count chickens this time around? Are we going to count goats and cows? I'm not saying that's what happened, you know, because it may love fake news lying around, but if if we don't get genuine figures, if we don't get genuine figures, I mean, Lagos State challenged the last census figure. You know, Tinubu was, uh, was Tinubu governor then? I think he was, yeah. They challenged the figures because they said, how can Kanu State be more populous? And, and then if you want to begin state. to look at the votes that you has know. been chunked out, you want to begin <coughs> to me. compare the votes from Kanu and that of Lagos, it uh, calls for a lot of concern. But we cannot, yeah. uh, as much as we say that it's fake news, Kofi, we can also take out the fact that there's always been political interference with the census. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so these are the issues. But, but, but the point I was making was that, you know, sorry to, to interrupt you, Mercy. The point I was making was that um, I think that the, at the base, the heart and core, of the problems that we're facing come from uh, societal values. If, if, if we as a society change, we will see that things will begin to change. But you're to, you're have, very correct, to, but we, we need to move, move away this because we have no time. Uh, our second top trending, what Nigerians have been talking about is that, uh, they've been talking about the new Naira notes, by the way. <laughs> Some people were excited. I think I was one of those who took pictures, but I'm not sure I posted the picture of my oh, you, 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 you Finally, you I saw the note. So now I saw I've the seen, note. I've used the Coffee, I, Coffee, I saw the note, but <coughs> guess where I saw the, the note? I saw the note in Asaba. That was you, the first you went time. To, uh, uh, so I was in Asaba sometime. ATM? Not ATM. Someone actually, you know. No, no, no. I've seen. I mean, so, on Noja. It's not like uh, seeing. Uh, 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 so uh, I'm saying, technical seeing. director here gave me. You know, before, before now, I, I kept on saying I've not seen the note. Oh, so you so have to. I, I didn't see traveled it. all so the way to Asaba. Asaba. Well, to, uh, so I saw the I saw the note in Delta State, and I held the note. It was the uh, what's it called? <laughs> Yes, please put your hands together. Finally. Finally, you know, I saw the 500 Naira notes. And, you know, I was pretty excited to be. Which one? To, 500? Yes, it was the 500 Naira. Where is it? So I haven't Let seen. me see. I think I saw the 1,000 in Lagos as well. Oh, wow. Uh, I haven't seen, I've seen only 500. The so only I one saw I saw, the, I saw the 500. I had it. I spent it. You know, I used it and all of that. I thought I could keep some, but I can't be holding the notes. So you have to put see, it in second. When, when I say you are enjoying, you are chopping money in this <laughs> I don't Lagos. understand what that You means. deny. You but, deny. But, 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 Kofi, getting back to the crux <coughs> of the conversation me. is that in line with the directive of the central. Bank of Nigeria, uh, you have the deposit money uh, banks uh, dispensing because they already started dispensing the design Naira notes across them across the country uh, in December. That was last year, 15 December to be precise, 2022. And you know the complaint about not seeing the Naira note and yeah. you know the Naira note being in short uh, circulation. Uh, too many come, including myself now. So you see how I was celebrating that I finally laid my yeah. hands and uh, spent the, you know, the new Naira note. But just one particular currency, though, it's the 500 Naira notes. But however, I'm excited that I'm able to because I started feeling like I was not part of the country. But Nigerians took to, you know, social media. I mean, that's where you feel like you can express yourself without being, uh, you know, Cage somehow, even though people oh, without, come without paying for it. Uh, without paying for it, I mean, you, you you have a free. So a lot of Nigerians took pictures of their note, and uh, some of it didn't look quite good. I mean, to be very honest, I don't think it was one that was looking good. Some that had error, you know, in printing. 
and that has gotten a lot of tongues wagging. You would see 1,000, one of them was the 1,000 Naira note, and if we were able to put that picture Captain, out, we have it had like a, you know, screen. had like an yeah. excess, you know, extra. Yeah. You know how it is, I don't know if you've been to a printer's, they call it, it could probably be a printer's demon, and uh, mm. that's what they call it. No, printer's demon is, is where you write, but, but, but. No, but, no, no. In printing, <coughs> you so, there's also printing. You okay, know. you know, writer's devil. Sorry, uh -huh. So sorry. you have writer's devil. You also have the, the barber's demon. Yeah. Uh, they're all of so, devils. So I think it would probably just yeah. be. I, I wish you could see, if you see the images that Mercy is referring to. But um, I'm looking at my Twitter feed right now. And you know, you know, it's like when you're printing uh, at home or you go to the press, <laughs> maybe all these printers, like, uh, you know, even photocopying. You know, sometimes when you're photocopying, um, some of the, the papers may not, may, 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 may fold. And so it'll print on the back. And someone put up, a, you know, took a shot of his 1,000, new 1,000 Naira note, where they, there, was, it, there was a fold at the corner, the top right corner, uh, facing you. you know, and then the, the 1,000 printed on the folded part. And then when they extended it, <coughs> the last zero, which printed on the folded part, was not there. And you had uh, the paper now was excess over the line, what they call the bleed, you know. So that's another person put up a, a, a 500 Naira note, which I saw, uh, which shows that the, the, the 500 Naira at the back is on both sides, left up, left down, right corner up, right corner down. And you know, when you are, if you've done your printing, maybe flyers, you know, those used to print a lot of flyers for the social media became very, very popular. You have some people who cut, the guys who cut the flyers for you. They don't place it well. Those cutters are very sharp. You have to place the paper as well. Eh? So, Hit it down, place it well, okay? <laughs> and then they now wind the cutter to cut the flyer. Now, if they don't cut it well, you see that some part of the flyer will go. Maybe one flyer going to another flyer. And that's what I'm seeing with these uh, 500 Naira note that uh, someone put up on Twitter. You know, it shows you the Naira sign is at the end. It's cut from the beginning. And, so, and I mean, these are, these, are, these are issues that you see with when you and I print at home now. Or when you and I go to <laughs> a printing press. I don't know where they print in Lagos. <laughs> but in Port Harcourt, we print in uh, Mal, Kofi, Mal 1. But, you can find them printing. But, but Kofi, you know, you know that this, uh, current, <coughs> this, this, this was actually a Nigerian production now. It was first in its kind. So... Uh, it's just a reflection of how no, we are unfortunate. But, but mercy, I, I Ni Nigerian, Niger Nigerian Mint or Nigeria Security and uh, Minting Corporation is, is a very qualified uh, uh, institution. Uh, no, no, but for the you first know? time, Kofi, if, if you were the one, you were going to take this job for the very first time. I'm sure you want to put in your best and knowing the kind of... Uh, you want to get it right, 100. So we're not saying that people don't make mistakes and all of that. And like I would say, uh, some people say it's a printer's devil, there's printer's demon. We, we understand. And when you were even doing the description, I mean, when you're talking about uh, how all of this happened, I, I have an idea what you're saying because I have been in that you know, space of printing. I have seen the machine. I know how it works. And, <coughs> and, oh, you know, you've been in the space of printing of Naira notes. No, no, I didn't oh, say Naira notes. I coffee. said it. <laughs> I said I didn't it. say the narrow note. I Mercy, said printing. You've been denying. But I, I say you deny. <laughs> Kofi, I wasn't precise. I'm saying printing generally. I'm so it's it's almost the same thing as saying you're printing the notes. Okay. The same procedures okay. for printing, you know, goes almost the same way if you're talking about the notes. Okay. So that's where because we're giving us some some names. You know, they talked about uh, a particular chemical. You know, we did a we did a, um, uh, a practical demonstration. Does anyone have new narrow notes here? Maybe. No, this no. time, if Kofi, I take it, I'm, Kofi, not, I'm not sure we have time to do If I take it, I'm not returning it. But we did a practical here, Mercy. Mm. And uh, I took a white sheet of paper, one of these uh, A4 papers we used to print news. And I recycled, so I took an old one. And I turned the back, and the 500 naira that Onoja, um, uh, head of uh, uh, production unit here, gave me. You know, I gave it back to Onoja, by the way. And um, when I used it at the back of it, was washing, it was, it was cleaning. You could see the green. You know, and the excuse Central Bank of Nigeria gave for why the 500 note green is, is staining uh, white and stuff is that they are new. And then they talked about, <laughs> oh, you they got talked me. about, you know, they said they are new. Why do you make they me laugh like that? <laughs> 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 it's, it's worth laughing at, you know. The way you laugh says it all, Messi. The way you laugh said it says it all. If you're eating food, you have spilled it here. Yes, you I know, would. You know, but the thing is this. 
They said that it's new and they talked about one chemical they use and all that. But, Kobe, we but we've been go. using new notes since we were born. Kobe, we need to go now. Have you seen any you new know, notes? You know why we need to go? I we mean, need to go. It, it's need unfortunate. To go, yeah. it, it's crazy. Uh, but the Nigerian Security Printing and Minting Corporate Company Limited, it's PLC. They, they've been doing this for years, Messi. It's not the first time. You know? No, but, but but you also know that over time, I mean, this is, you, you, when you want to talk about printing, when you talk yeah. about production, sometimes you ask, you have to ask yourself if it's start to finish. We're saying start to finish. You source mm. the material here, everything you're using, it's all from, you know, the country. It's not that, you know, because in our production circle, most mm. times we have to import some of the materials that we use in the production. Mm. And so you can't say start to finish. Mm. So in most cases, I think this is the this is first time where, you know, there were several reports and claims saying that, hey, this production, the printing of the, of the Naira note was, you know, start to finish. So mm. all of the materials and what have you sourced here. And I'm sure that we can do a better job. That's the truth. Mm. But, you know, it's what it is. And it's but, unfortunate but, that it contradicts Kofi quickly. Mm, yeah. It contradicts, you know, the characteristics of money and this was what we're taught in elementary economics that uh, you look at the characteristics of money you talk about durability it has to be generally accepted i mean these are some basic you know features of money you know it, well, it has to be durable yes. it has to be it has to be you know accepted by a lot up until this man you still have to slap some people I in mean, the head to say and, hey and that's your is, note you need to take it and this is uh, something <laughs> you learned in junior or senior secondary of course, school of course. and i don't know why the cbn governors know, but doesn't matter. But, but Messi, fun fact, very quick one, fun fact. You know, Obasan Joe was the one who privatized the Nigeria Security, Print, Mint, Security Printing and Minting Company Limited PLC in 2002. Now, guess who was the managing director of, uh, the managing director resigned in protest when Obasan Joe uh, privatized it? And guess who it was? Who? Cool. It was uh, Sambo Dasuki. Okay, we need to go. That's the size of our you know, conversation. You know, when you talk about that Suki money, we have to go. <laughs> on our top trending yeah, this morning, yeah. we'll take a break. And when we return, it'll be time for us to go through the papers. Please stay with us. Good morning.